all, I would like to welcome all our viewers to one of our special interactive show of News Now. Today, we have invited one of our special guests who is a computer engineer as well as an upcoming musician and his name is Raj Nil Datta. Now, coming on to you. Uh, now, first of all, I would like request you to say about your parents as well as your birthplace and education to all our viewers. Okay. Um, so, uh, first of all, my name is Rajneel Datta and um, as she said, I am already a computer engineer yeah. and um, so my father's name is Mr. Ranjan Kumar Datta and okay. mom's name is Jyoti Rekha Datta and my dad is a musician. Okay. So he, even he is an engineer but then he also loves music just like me Okay. and he has been my first and the biggest inspiration for this musical journey. Okay, that's yeah. great. As yeah. your dad is a musician, yeah. so you are also a <laughs> follower of him, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, now I would request you to, what song will you like to sing now? Okay, um, I'd like to start off with a, with an English song. song. Okay. It's by Elvis Presley. Okay. It's called Can't Help Falling In Love. Okay. okay. So viewers, let's hear from him now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, from childhood you have this plan to become a musician. Yep. Or you are starting this plan now. Um. Yeah. Ev uh, ever since I was a child, small child. Okay. I had this dream of becoming a musician. Okay. Of pursuing music. Yeah. But um, it's it's still a struggle. But okay. then I'm still trying okay. to achieve that. Okay. And um, studies have come in the way. Okay. Uh, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a journey. Yeah. You will be, you will be. Yeah. You will be a successful <laughs> it, one day because it. you had a wonderful voice, God yeah, gifted thank you. voice. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, now how have you started your musical journey? Um, so uh, like I said before, I started music when I, when I was just a child. Okay. And uh, as I mentioned before, that was the first guru. Okay. Uh, for lack of a better term. Yeah. My, I started my formal classical journey uh, and there was there were two teachers that uh, guided okay. me towards a degree and uh, w one was Mitali Vejburova okay. and uh, uh, the other one was Roshmi Ekha Kakati. Are they all were from Jorhat? Yep, yeah, they're okay. both from Jorhat okay. and uh, they guided me to a formal degree in classical music okay. and that was my first foray into a proper musical journey for okay. lack of a better term yeah oh uh, you, you used to sing bollywood also hollywood yeah. also yes. and jollywood too okay. yeah <laughs> uh, who are your favorite singers in all these actors bollywood jollywood and hollywood um uh, uh, i actually like a lot of genres who used to follow you used to follow whom yeah especially especially yeah. okay 
Uh, I used to follow a lot of jazz musicians. Okay. But then, yeah, uh, people like Elvis, okay. they, uh, John Lennon, mm -hmm. they were a big part of my inspiration. I think they were insp inspi they were inspiring a lot of people of okay. my generation. And in Hollywood, uh, uh, sorry, in Bollywood, they were Yar Rahman's music. Uh, mu all the music was very nice. Okay. And um, Arijit Singh comes to mind. And um, everybody's mind. Yeah. Right? Not <laughs> only you, everybody's yeah, mind. Yeah. <laughs> so his musical sense is extraordinary. Okay. So yeah, that's that's something that I have uh, tried to follow a bit. Yeah. Uh, now. Uh, may I request you to play sing a song of Arjit Singh? S sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> platform okay continue with this platform yes. you will be a successful I one plan one to. Day. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now as you are a musician I would like to ask one question mm -hmm. uh, music what it comes to your mind what is music means what would you like to say to our viewers what do you think music is what does music give us I think music is for me in the most purest form yeah. means peace peace exactly like at the end of a busy day when you come back to yeah. your home mm -hmm. and you put on some music that's the best kind of therapy you can have yeah i think i think all all human beings love music for this very reason yeah like consciously or unconsciously music gives or brings them some some kind of peace yeah people when used to be they are depressed yeah sadness. exactly yeah, yeah. They, if they hear one music mm -hmm. Yeah, it affects some relaxation, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. Oh, now I'm coming to your experience. What are the experience you are gaining mm -hmm. in the musical journey? Um. So, um, ever since I was in school, I used to perform around a little bit, not not in a big sense, but then I used to perform here and there. Okay. And um, so, I used to be very nervous of public interactions like okay. speaking in front of a large crowd that used to terrify me okay but then yeah so but then music exactly music helped me a lot and um, so whenever i'm in front of a mic if i have my guitar 
I can close my eyes and everything can fall away. So that helped me a lot with my own personal battle with public speaking. Mm. And then uh, that is why I ask you a question, no? What yeah. does music give us, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. So um, that happened, and then I went on to college. And yeah. um, so in college, uh, I was the head of the. I got a chance to head the musical club okay. in the whole college. So that was a very different experience for me. Okay. That managing other musicians who I share a similar interest with. Okay. That was a very different experience for me. Yeah. And then um, during the last year of college, I managed to um, release a, my first single mm. on Spotify, YouTube, and all. So it was. Uh, its name is. It's called Tabir. Okay. And it was a Urdu Hindi song. Okay. And um, so far, that's been my. That's been one of the most memorial experiences of, of this journey. Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, right now I'm working on a new song and. Um, but let's see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what are your future plans? My future plans is to keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I have sung a lot of songs that my dad mm. penned down, mm -hmm. and um, uh, so I plan to keep doing that basically. Okay. And uh, I hope that I do not, I never mm. stop this whole musical interest of mine okay. and try to release out a lot of songs <laughs> okay. hopefully soon. Okay, and ask me which songs do you like the most? Um, there are a lot of songs. I like the old songs and okay. uh, I like Papon songs and all. Okay, and the most yeah. famous playback singer. Yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, now I would like to request Okay. Sing a song of Papon. Okay, famous sure. playback singer, right? Sure. sure. Okay. So um, the song is called Nilanjana. It's by Papon, and uh, I'll just sing two lines. Okay. Went inside Nilanjana. <laughs> okay, uh, you are a musician, we all know, and we were mm. also keen to know. Other than music, what are the other activities you do or you like? Um, so, um, I have played table tennis professionally for like okay. seven, eight years. Okay. But then I had to stop when I was in, when I reached class 10 because studies. Okay, from when have you started? Um, I think I was in class 2. Class 2, okay. Three, yeah. So, I was super into sports. Okay. Um, and uh, right now I love football. Football. And yeah, okay. it's a Premier League and all of that and it's it's been a great interest of mine since ever since school. Okay. Days, yeah. Uh, you have uh, like interesting sports too also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and anything else? Um. So far, that's been my main interest. Okay. That is sports and music. Okay. And um, 
yeah that, that's that's all that's all mostly okay. yeah okay well, as nowadays people are being so busy right mm. uh, do you met your child with friends yeah um I Who used left much before do you met yeah I I used to meet them a lot obviously okay, okay. we were in school together um, and uh, we actually formed a band okay. sort of a band in, <laughs> in school days okay and we released a song that okay. was called Romanthan and um, but lately everyone has gone their own ways because okay. obviously we're all grown up and they're also doing their jobs and yeah. masters and such um, my best friend uh, his name is Ashish okay. Kaisha so he is also a musician okay so um, every time we meet we just talk about music and life okay. and stuff okay and uh, good one yeah, <laughs> yeah. so continue to keep them too continue yeah, to keep yeah. romantic yeah <laughs> do not break it ever yeah. <laughs> all right yeah. Yeah. so uh, uh, so that, that's that's been it basically okay yeah. but then i we keep in touch mm. over phones and everything mm. but then the physical context or interaction has obviously gone down gone down yeah, uh, yeah due to covid yeah exactly okay uh, due to this lockdown mm. as you are working from home mm. and you're working in chennai as all know mm -hmm. uh, so i would like to ask one question mm. what are the differences have you have seen in the cultural field mm. mm. uh, in chennai mm. in, in, in between chennai and in assam mm -hmm. um chennai is uh, very different from assam to say okay. the least mm -hmm. um uh, in a strictly musical sense uh, the assam is uh, a for lack of a better term it's a community mm -hmm. and so there is a very uh, there's a varied genre of music which mm -hmm. is present ever present in our culture and uh, chennai is chennai has a lot of classical inspired mu music mm -hmm. and uh, singers like ya rahman and all of them are basically from the south and so that's the stark difference that i've noticed that uh, the dominance of classical mm. music over there is much higher than when compared to a place like assam and um, other than that the cultural differences of other than that it's pretty similar that, yeah. like such as our food is very similar to them mm -hmm. they also love rice we also love rice yeah. and um so th that's it that's the stark difference that I, that i have personally noticed is in terms of music who do you like the most which one do you are uh, you are liking the most like uh, <laughs> i obviously i love assam more because okay. i grew up here and the whole weather is nicer obviously but then chennai has been a very different experience for me personally in this growth yeah and you're the lucky one why do you know because you are from jorhat yeah and <laughs> what is jorhat jorhat is famous yeah. for its culture yep exactly and for knowledge mm. right yeah now you have made one song named as tabir yeah. right yeah tabir now can you sing once sure okay. sure okay so uh, tabir is a song about life okay and uh, the lyricist is a uh, very dear senior of mine uh, in college right from college his name is wakar hasan okay and he's mostly into urdu poetry the word tabir is urdu right yeah okay it's it's a urdu word um, so yeah here it goes okay sure continue Oh 
song which you sang in Urdu was really an amazing Thank you. because your voice is really a very god gifted one Thank you. um you are uh, you also sang one asmi song right yep. which is written by your father yep. and you're very lucky too so now i would request you to sing that song which yep. is written by your father okay that is an asmi one right yeah okay yeah so um Dad actually wrote a lot of Assamese songs, okay. and uh, I had the good fortune to sing a lot of his songs. Okay. And um, the one that I'm about to sing is called okay. Ahin Tumi, okay. and it's about uh, the autumn season. Okay. So he tried to personify the season by including the small small vari varieties in which comes into that season, mm -hmm. and um, so yeah, here it goes. Okay, continue. <laughs> such a wonderful father like him yeah. uh, what is the father's name his uh, name is ranjan kumar datta ranjan kumar datta yeah. okay uh, now another question i would like mm. to come near you uh, have you uh, you have many you know for uh, inspiration inspirations yeah. in your life right uh, have you met them ever yeah i have um, those inspirational persons have you met them yeah i i actually have okay and um, Looking back at it, I first met Dr. Bhupendra Sarika okay. when I was a kid. He was so, a great one. Yeah, he was the biggest legend that yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, so he came to Jorhat actually, mm -hmm. and uh, I was a child, and uh, me, my mom, my brother, mm -hmm. and dad, we all went to meet him. So uh, that was a, uh, I was awestruck. Okay. So he, a legend sitting right in front of me and. Yeah. Uh, he was i think if i remember correctly he was writing down some small small notes in mm -hmm. his diary and um what I, thought came to your mind at the time when I, you met him that I, legend I, i couldn't speak okay <laughs> i was just looking at him i was looking at my dad yeah <laughs> he was speaking to him 
and I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. So his obviously he's a the yeah. biggest legend that we know of, mm -hmm. and um, I've met uh, Khogan uh, Khogan Mohanto. Khogan Mohanto. Yeah. yeah. And his son Angra Papon Mohanto. Okay. When I was a child, so uh, back in Guwahati, my uh, uncle and mm -hmm. aunt they are into music. Okay. Uh, Probin Saikya and mm -hmm. Rashmi Rekha Saikya. Okay. So they are uh, into music and they are uh, very well known in the folk folk mm -hmm. genre. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, through them only uh, and through that, we, I, I met them. Okay. And I was then a little child. I still have small, small pictures of me meeting them and me being awestruck. Okay. And um, that was a unforgettable experience. Okay. I, uh, yeah. Uh, what instrument does your dad plays? Um, uh, as you play guitar, yeah. uh, what instrument does your dad play? My dad actually plays <laughs> sort of everything. So, sort of everything, yeah, so okay. He is mostly into tabla and harmonium okay. because he's a singer so he loves the harmonium more. He, he only uh, he only told me to go into guitar okay, okay. playing and um, so yeah, basically uh, everything, sort of everything. everything yeah. Okay. Oh, so now as time is coming, so we'll have to end the program mm -hmm. now. Now at last, uh, what song would you like to sing now? Um, first of all, thank you so much for calling me yeah. and giving me this experience today. It's been a pleasure and um, I haven't done this before so it's it's all new to me okay. but then um, thank you for being such a wonderful host um, I'd like to end with uh, with my next song that I'm working on okay. um, it's it's in the works right now and here's a sneak peek of okay. it okay so yeah. continue yeah future and you go more forward and come out with more flying colors thank you so uh, much you had such a wonderful voice move move forward thank you so uh, much so viewers as the time is near so we need to end our program now uh, thank you and just keep watching news now 24 into 7